Hello folks, this is Eduardo from Costa Rica. Today I want to make a video and talk about my experience and my trajectory with some of these African languages. Uh, you know, yeah, African languages like Swahili, Hausa, Bambara, and also Yoruba which these four are languages that somehow I have studied. I have been interested in, its, um, in learning those, you know, the structure, grammar, um, maybe uh, short stories. And these are languages that somehow I have the, the dedicated part of my time. I am particularly interested in Swahili, which is actually uh, the African language that I have the most knowledge. Uh, the others, not that much. Maybe Yoruba, but I haven't studied lately. I have to say that uh, I haven't had the time. However, Yoruba language is fascinating. And I tell you this, guys, for me, Yoruba is not so difficult. It's not a, such a difficult language. Maybe it could be daunting to see a text with all those accents uh, on the vowels and, and you know those different symbols that are not found in English or Spanish or other languages like Italian, Portuguese, French. So Yoruba can be a challenge in that, in its sort of orthography, in the way it's written. But to be honest with you, the the pronunciation is not that hard and the grammar I find that the grammar is not so complicated as other languages I have to say that Hausa is more complicated certainly and I also mentioned that this one I also mentioned Bambara yeah actually in 2015 I proposed myself to learn and study this language you know that it's uh, one of the Mande languages, but I didn't continue. Uh, but somehow I have a notion, a notion, a slight notion of this language, Bambara. And uh, I wouldn't say it's such a difficult language. I, I was able to notice in the time I was studying this language that its grammar and uh, the verbs are kind are, are straightforward so they are easy to assimilate the verb tenses are not that difficult uh, but I, al I always have the same problem that I am very um, uh, I don't it's hard for me to focus in few languages and then I, I I just don't continue studying the language I was and then continue with other and other uh, I still have issues with this I have to admit I still have issues with this and um, well that's for Bambara now Swahili I have to say that fortunately I have been uh, dealing with that problem I have with that I will call it anxiety and I was able I have been able to focus in Swahili and trying to learn vocabulary to review the structures uh, sorry the structures uh, review topics like uh, the noun classes you, you guys know that Swahili is one of the few Bantu languages that is not tonal uh, unlikely, um, unlikely Lingala, Luganda. These languages are also very common, at least in the in the linguistic community, if, or between the Africanists. But um, so you know that they are tonal languages. But even though I wouldn't say that Lingala is a very hard language, neither Luganda. Actually, when I was uh, at, at the university, um, I had to do some corpus exercises for Luganda. 
it was really uh, merely fanatical. Yeah, what's funny about that, uh, Luganda? So basically, I just wanted to talk about these um, aspects, uh, about these four uh, languages, which are Swahili, Hausa, Bambara, and Yoruba. So thanks for watching this video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, I will upload more videos soon. Thank you. Bye.